Hello guys, what's up? Adrian here from Epsit. So uh, during this video, I will uh, use the platform to generate a um, full stack web application that uh, uses uh, a React user interface and a um, simple Node.js API backend. Uh, for newcomers, Epsit is a platform that uses in-house develop automation tools to um, transform uh, lifeless UI kits uh, into full stack web applications. Let's uh, start our demonstration. Sorry for that. So, uh, uh, once you access the generator page, uh, you should go to the generator and uh, select your UI. In this case, I will select uh, Soft Dashboard, which is a super popular uh, React uh, design provided by Creative Team. Before the, you generate the product, you can uh, check the check out the the UI. In my opinion, looks super nice. Has uh, many pages. Uh, this page looks looks amazing. Uh, RTL support. You can also uh, add your user profile user profile feature and uh, many other things. Okay, let's uh, let's generate the product using this uh, this amazing amazing UI. In the next step, you can choose uh, the backend server. Uh, all uh, provided servers share the, the same functionality, uh, and it's a choice to, to choose between Django, Flask, uh, Node.js, and Laravel will uh, is scheduled to be added soon into the platform. I will pick uh, Node.js for this demonstration because it's super popular. In this step, uh, you can customize the database and the deployment layer to enable or disable the Docker. For now, um, the, the database layer supports only SQLite, but all products uh, are coming with an ORM, so it's super easy to, to switch to MySQL or, um, or uh, Postgre. Uh, also, Mongo database will be provided soon, probably in the, in the next few days. Uh, for now, just uh, let's let's use the defaults and uh, generate the product, and uh, see how it goes. Once the, um, the request is accepted by the server, that checks the load and other factors. Uh, the product should be able to should be available uh, in less than one minute. The source code. And uh, we provide the generated product in, uh, into, into flavors as a zip archive. You can download it right away. Or uh, uh, and the sources are also saved on GitHub under the MIT license. So you can use it um, later on once the, the process is finished. So uh, I will wait the... Uh, to, to download the product from GitHub, just to, to provide a full uh, full flow for uh, for newcomers. Uh, using JIT uh, to edit and build the product, I will use uh, VS Code Editor, which is super popular, and of course you can use your preferred uh, editor like uh, Vim or uh, Atom. It's not important the editor; it's just uh, just use an editor that makes you comfortable and productive. Okay, so the the sources are uploaded. Um, other aspects: um, we are twenty four seven on Discord. We have a, a really nice uh, um, community. More than one thousand users are registered into our Discord. Of course, uh, we are provided also email support. Um, the priority is uh, shifted to the registered users. So make sure you, you make an account on our platform and uh, in case you have the time, feel free to provide feedback just to let us know what uh, we, we can improve in future releases of our, uh, of our product. Uh, okay, the product is it's almost done. Sources are uh, um, uploaded to, the, to GitHub. And at the end, the platform will uh, flag the, um, the project status, so in this case, it's, it's successful. Let's uh, download the sources. Okay, looks good. 
let's download the sources and follow the instructions provided in the generated readme so uh, we have here the instructions to build the front end we have here the instructions to build the, the back end and uh, all other steps that uh, we need to, to follow up in order to use the product let's uh, download the sources into our local environment okay okay so the first step is to to start the backend server which manages the authentication part we have uh, the product is provided with uh, uh, login logout and registration uh, using uh, json web token so let's uh, uh, start the backend server just copy and paste based all the all the instructions provided in Dorimi and should be okay here uh, we have uh, three instructions yarn is to yarn or mpmi is to install the modules here uh, we have a uh, instruction to set up the database and to uh, migrate the and create all the tables and the uh, yarn dev will start the product I will concatenate all the uh, three commands just to uh, speed up the build. Okay. Now the um, yarn download all the all the packages, compiles the packages, and uh, should uh, should be okay. And later on, start the product, start the backend server. Now uh, let's go back to the front end. I'll do the same thing just to uh, just to follow up the instructions and concatenate the, the commands. Yeah, start. All our uh, full stack products are provided uh, using um, a two tier architecture where the React UI is decoupled from the backend. This up, uh, architecture is optimal because you can, in case you want to switch from Node.js to Django or Flask, uh, will be no change at the UI level. Um, so it's, it's a recommended pattern to use um, a decoupled architecture. That's why we are um, uh, compiling the sources uh, using separate windows. Now the, the backend server, the Node.js API server is up and running. So we have here is listening on port 5000. Okay. Uh, the React UI is already pre uh, configured to, to talk with, uh, with the API server on the same port. In case you, you want to start the, the API server on another port, uh, just edit the environment uh, file and put here another port you want and uh, the React UI should be also configured to, to use it. Uh, right here we have port 5000 just to just, uh, update this file and it should be okay. Okay, so the uh, React UI is compiled. Now we should see the pop-up um, into the browser. By default, the uh, React application will redirect the guest users to authenticate in order to access the private pages. Also, another important fact is that the application is not shipped with any default users, so uh, feel free to uh, register new users in order to uh, pass the authentication. Okay. Okay, so wrong credentials because the, the user is not created. Let's create the user. Okay, I will use the values suggested by by the browser. This user is used in by me in for tests. Okay, so this is the UI. 
looks exactly as the demo we have here the VR page we have here the profile you can log out you can authenticate create other users in case the password is not good you should be warned wrong credentials because I put the wrong password uh, okay so guys thanks for watching let us know uh, how the tool uh, how we can improve the tool the generator in case uh, you prefer other UI kits just select your another one from from the list berry is also super popular we have other kits uh, and many many will be integrated the uh, purity is based on chakra it's, it looks super nice okay you have here a lot of widgets i think you have uh, also the the dark more ready um the latest um the latest react kit integrated into the generator is the horizon ui um i think it was released a week ago by the by the by the designers the interfaces is amazing in my opinion we have here the dark mode the light mode nft marketplace page data tables a profile page rtl support uh, and of course uh, light and dark mode so guys thanks for watching don't uh, don't hesitate to chat with us to access the platforms the platform we are more than 5000 uh, developers uh, on appseed let us know what you think in case you you need support just uh, contact um, access the support page and chat with us thanks for watching i wish you all a super super day and see you all on the next video bye